One of the most basic security measures that we all do, especially now, is to block specific countries. That is, using a geolocation and block those specific countries. Now, most of us just create an address object, a firewall address object, that is of type geographic, and then apply it to a deny policy. But that's not enough. To make your policy bulletproof, you will need to apply a local in policy. Coming up. When you create a security policy on your FortiGate, you actually control the traffic to and from your FortiGate. That is traffic that comes from the ingress interface to the egress interface and vice versa. Now your FortiGate actually has another type of policies which are the local in policies. Those policies actually restrict or enable user access to the internal traffic that is the management traffic. How do you see the local in policies? You can head over to system, feature visibility, and here in feature visibility, let's look for the local in policy. Apply that. Once you do so, move again to the policies and objects, local in policy. And there you will see the type of protocols that are allowed for administration, uh, for routing, for central management, and more. Now, remember, if you create a firewall address object, then you're actually denying it only on the security policy level. You need to deny access also on the local in policy. So let's start by creating to, uh, an address object. Let's create the policies and then let's create the local in policy. The local in policy can only be configured through the command line. All right, so let's just... Um, head over to policy and objects, addresses. Now, you can, we can do it over the command line also. Config firewall address. Now let's add it and let's name the country that we wish to block. Uh, for the sake of demonstration, let's just um, use Iran. Now, the type of address is geographic, so we need to set the type. You can scroll between the different types. Now, geography is the um, type, so we will choose geography. And the next thing to do is to set the country. Now, you need to set the first two letters. Now, each country has its own characters. Now, you probably don't know which are which. So just type um, a question mark. And you will see the different countries and their first letters. So let's just look for Iran, Iraq, Iran. So IR is the initials. All right. So let's set the country to IR. And let's end it. Now, once we do so, again, we can go to the addresses. And here we will find Iran. That's the file address object that we have just created all right so now let's move to our policy and let's create a new policy let's name our policy um, block country the incoming interface is our marketing interface the outgoing is our when so we will uh, block it using two policies one is for the inbound traffic and the second is for the outbound traffic. The source is all, that is everyone in the marketing um, local area network. And the destination is the firewall address object that we have just created. That is all service and all time. So scheduling is always and we will deny so that's a deny policy so we have done that on the internal lan interface now let's do it from the when side okay 
its name. Block country aim. So our when interface would be used as the incoming. Our marketing interface is the outgoing. Source Iran and destination all service all and again deny so we have two security pro uh, policies uh, one for the inbound and the second is for the outbound traffic all right and so now we need to create a local in policy that will deny access from a source address which is Iran all right, so to do so, we will need the command line. Let's just clear the page. Config firewall local in policy. Let's edit number one. Let's set the um, interface. Currently, my when one is at port one, so we will use port one. Let's set the source address to Iran. Let's just look for Iran. There it is. That's the source address. We're trying to protect traffic that is coming for from Iran. Let's set the destination address. Let's do it for let's do it all. Let's do it all. And let's uh, set service. Currently we will also use just one second let's set the service to all all right and let's set the schedule to always and that's it all right so we have created a local in policy that will protect our internal traffic and now let's just look at that again let's see what we have here all right so that's uh, all for now now if you're using VIP if you're using virtual IP you will need to uh, match those to the uh, policies since VIP actually takes precedence over the IPv4 policy that's all for now please subscribe and press the uh, bell notification so you won't miss anything.